Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday's 7 a.m. Morning Mobility. I hope everyone had a great Monday. We now have another opportunity, just like every week, to take another 20 minutes out of our morning, kind of work on our body, work on our mind, and get ourselves set up for some success for today, all right? So today, we're gonna run through two different things of kind of like prep work, uh, just kind of open up our hips, open up our upper body, and prepare us for some of our movements. So today, we're gonna have two main sequences that we're gonna be focusing on, and we're actually gonna be doing more mobility in the form of movement today, uh, rather than holding you know, isolated or static stretches. So go ahead and be ready for that. <clears throat> and then always remember, all right, if you have a little bit of a hard time getting in some kind of position uh, with the work we're doing, always make sure you just do what's best for you, do what you can, and then always make sure you just kind of take note of the progress that you're making day in and day out when you show up in the mobility classes and your ability to move in and out of the positions, all right? So real quick, we're just gonna go through the world's greatest stretch. Uh, we're gonna go two to three cycles each side, but we're gonna do um, longer holes in each position. And again, this is just our quick prep work. It's one of the best things we can do to kind of open up full body, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and take our left foot forward, and then we're gonna take our left elbow down inside our ankle, and we're going to spend about 10 seconds in each position today. So again, this is just for prep work. This is just setting us up <clears throat> for the poses that we're going to be doing later on in today's class. So a few more moments here with that left elbow inside that left ankle. And then we're just going to put our right hand on the ground and open up. And we're going to hold this for 10 seconds in the full rotation. And return back down, left elbow inside the left ankle. We got 10 seconds here. So we're actually just going to go with two on each side. So we'll go two sequences total on each side. And then shift back into that half front split. And we got one more sequence here on the left side. It's nice and easy. <clears throat> Just use this opening flow just to kind of get your body to open up. So now we're going to go back down, left elbow inside, the left ankle. A couple more seconds here. Then we're going to go right hand on the ground and open up. Nice and easy. 10 second hold. back down then we just got the half front split left on this left side and we'll move to the right and shift back so even with our mobility classes you never want to just dive into it especially if it's in the morning and we've all just woken up not too long ago Go ahead and switch sides. You always want to kind of welcome your body to the class, to the poses. That way you get the most efficiency and effectiveness out of the, the poses you're focusing on. So now we're going to go right leg out front. My right elbow is going to go inside of my right ankle. You can kind of see here. And we're going to be here for about 10 seconds. Then go ahead and go tall and open up for that rotation. 10 second hold. And back down. Nice and easy. And shift back into that half front split. That chest fall down into the knee. Kind of support your hands, self with your hands, your arms, and your fingertips. Come back forward, last one here, right over inside. Just a few moments. Let that hip open up. Right, tall the torso and open. The T spine rotation. Back down. We just got one more part left. Now we're gonna go back into the half front split. Just a few moments. Then we got one more thing of prep work to run through. 
All right, and now we're going to go ahead and come to a seated position. So <clears throat> we're going to start with just our alternating shin box for this last part of prep. So I want your right shin to be parallel with your torso right here. And then remember, our right foot's going to go on our left quad. You just make a nice little square here with your body. And then we're just going to go three on each side. You're going to rotate on your heels, open up. And you're going to be back over here on the left side now with my left shin in front. So there's one, and back open, and one. Make sure we stay tall and tight with our torso. Rotate to the left for two, and back to the right for two. We got one more each way. Three, nice and easy, and three. All right, so from here is where it starts getting a little bit more advanced. All right, so my right shin's in front of my torso, and all I'm gonna do is rise up into extension here. So my left knee is gonna be on the ground, my right shin is gonna be on the ground, and I'm gonna be tall and tight over my right shin. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna do a sit back with the overhead reach. So the hip action is gonna hinge and sit back like this, all right, but then as we do it, we're gonna take our arms up overhead, sit back to where your hips about to get up off the ground and come back, all right? So we just got about four on each side that we're gonna do. So make sure as you push your hips back, you reach your arms and hands out overhead. If the arms goes off your balance a little too much, then you can just make a fist right here at your sternum and work on the hip portion of this, all right? So we're gonna take a deep breath in, squeeze it tight, and then sit back, exhale, and come up for one. Big breath in, exhale, reach, sit back. So we're sitting our hips back, we're reaching our arms forward, come back up, and we got two more here. Big breath in, exhale, reach. Now you're gonna have your eyes about just about four or five feet in front of you and come back up, and we got one more here on this right side, big breath in, exhale, reach up overhead, sit your hips back, and return. All right, so you can go ahead and take a seat on the ground, and then we're just gonna shin box over to our left side now. <clears throat> so now my left shin's in front, parallel with my torso, my right leg's gonna be on the ground, and we're gonna come up, so you see I kind of have a little bit of that kickstand. So my right toes are on the ground, right knee's on the ground, and then my left shin is on here. So same thing, we're gonna go four. So we're gonna go ahead and start, big breath in. Exhale. Sit your hips back. Reach, 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 reach. Reach your hips back, reach your arms forward, and come up, and big breath in. Exhale. Reach back. Come back up for two. All right, we got two left here. Big breath in. Exhale. Good reach. Good, we got one more left. Big breath in. Exhale. Reach. And then you can just go ahead and come back down to the ground. All right. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna work through a pigeon flow. So you'll kind of notice today is very hip heavy. <clears throat> so next, we're gonna take our left leg out in front, our right leg is gonna go long behind us, and then we're just gonna go into our tall pigeon for one minute on the left side. So I'm supporting myself with my hands, my torso is tall, big proud chest, and we got one minute here, just kind of opening up that left hip, Nice and easy. So if you want, <clears throat> when you're up tall, you can kind of push back. You can kind of see I'm pushing my left hip back into that left pant pocket to kind of get a little bit more focus on that left hip. We just got a few more moments left here. About 20 seconds. After this, we're just gonna go into about 45 seconds of the rotational pigeon which I'll show you all here in about 10 seconds. 
<clears throat> We've done it a decent amount, but just in case we got any new faces, a little refresher. All right, so now we're just gonna stay tall, and all you think about is you're gonna take your elbow, all right, and you have your left hand on the ground, and it kind of creates a little bit of window with your left hip and your left arm, and you're just gonna take your right elbow and rotate that elbow down on top of your knee, all right, and come back up. So we got 45 seconds, just go ahead and keep working that, nice and easy, two to three seconds on the way in, and open up slow, it's nice and easy. Sometimes I'll put my right hand on my left shoulder, and then take my left elbow to my left knee, because that way it's a little bit more of a fluid movement here. It's nice and easy. You got 15 seconds left. We'll go ahead and get about two more reps in. And then we're going to add a little bit more of an advanced movement into it. Last one. All right, go ahead and come up. So we're going to stay in that tall pigeon position. So there's going to be two actions to this next movement. The first one is I'm going to think about kind of pulling my body apart, all right? So we're going to extend our body. So when we do that, I'm going to take my chest forward and reach it forward here and take my right foot and reach it back. So I'm kind of elongating myself. And then we're going to come up, put your right hand on your left ankle. You're going to sit back and you're going to pull now, that your yoga mat, your body into itself. So it's kind of like an accordion effect, all right? We got real long and we got real short. So then we're going to go back, reach that right leg, rotate, reach that chest forward. All right? So that's one rep. We got five total, so we got four more. So keep your right hand on your left ankle the whole time. So we're long. And then now we're going to go ahead and squeeze close together. Take your right heel to your left foot. Hold it for a moment. Drop your knee and reach back again. So that's two. And then come up for number three. Right heel to left foot. Bring yourself together. And then elongate. Nice and easy. Then we're going to come in for four. Come in. Right heel to left foot. And then rotate back out. Good. And last one here, number five. Bring yourself together. Right heel to left foot, and then open back up again. And just hold it for a second, and relax. So I'm just going to pivot sides, just so you guys can see the action a little bit better. Or so you all can see the action a little bit better. So now we're going to go right leg in front. So now my right hip's getting worked on. All right, we got one minute in our tall pigeon. All right, hold yourself up with your arms. And then again, you're going to sit your right hip into that right hand pocket. Kind of open up that hip. So we use the tall pigeon just to open the hip up, introduce it to the pose. Just kind of let it know, hey, we're going to be working a little bit today. It's nice and easy. You have about 30 seconds left here on the right side. And again, so like when we go into that last part, the pigeon drag, where we're opening and closing our body, um, it's a new movement. Uh, <clears throat> so like I said, if, you're, if you kind of struggle with it a little bit, just each rep, try and focus on working on the effectiveness of it and kind of make it a smooth movement and trying to progress from rep one to rep five. That way, when we ever do it again, you're a little bit more acclimated with it. All right. So now my right hand's on the ground. <clears throat> I'm going to take my left hand to my right shoulder. And then just for the next 45 seconds, we're going to drop that elbow, that left elbow to that right knee, and come back up. And then open up, and come back down. So two to three seconds on your way in. And just open up at a nice, smooth pace here. Nice and easy. So we've got about 20 seconds left, just a few more. And then we're going to work into our pigeon drags. Good. About one more here. Go ahead and come up. And then we're going to take our left hand to our right ankle. And again, we're going to start by elongating and extending our body. And then we're going to bring it back in close, okay? 
So take a deep breath in, exhale, lean that chest forward, don't collapse, all right? Keep that spine straight, reach your foot, reach your chest, and then we're gonna sit back and we're gonna bring that left heel to the right foot without catching your yoga mat. And we're gonna come close again, and then we're gonna extend it out and get long. So there's one, and then we're gonna come in for two. Nice and easy, bring that left heel to the right foot, and open up, back up again. Reach that chest, keep that spine neutral and rigid. And then we're gonna start rep number three. Left heel to right foot, and open back up, and reach again, nice and easy. We're gonna go into rep four, come up. Left heel to right foot, keep that left hand on your right ankle, then open up again. Then we got one more here. Nice and easy, bring it in close. Hold it, and then extend one last time. And relax, all right. So we got four minutes left in class. We got one more flow we're gonna try and get through. So we're gonna go into some figure four holds and then figure four rotations. So I'm gonna have you do your lay on your back, keep those heels close to your hips as if we're about to do a glute bridge, all right? So my right leg's gonna be on the ground. I'm gonna bring my left leg up and put it across my right quad here. We're just gonna sit here for about 10 to 15 seconds, just kind of let that body open up. And then, so now what we're gonna do, all right, so my right leg's on the ground, my left leg is on my right quad, is we're gonna take a deep breath in, exhale, and then we're gonna keep our upper body flat on the ground, looking at the ceiling, and you're gonna drop your right knee to the ground, keeping your left foot open, then my right hand's gonna go to my left knee, Nice little tug here, just a little stretch. And relax and bring it back up. So we got three more on this side. All right, so deep breath in. Drop that right knee to the side. Keep that left foot on top of the right quad, nice and easy. Find that stretch, then you're just gonna pull. Slight little distraction with that left knee using the right hand. Come back up, we got two more. Big breath in, exhale. Drop that right knee out to the outside. Nice and easy here. Pull it to your body, a little distraction. Come back up, and then we got one more here. All right, so drop open. Right knee goes to the ground, right hand to the left knee, slight little pull. We're gonna come back up, and then you're gonna switch legs. So I gotta switch sides. So now we're gonna be left leg on the ground, right foot to left quad, right here. Just gonna sit here for a moment. And then we're gonna go ahead and take that deep breath in. Exhale. Drop the left knee outside to the ground. Nice and easy here. Pull the knee just a little bit and come back up. We got three more, big breath in. Exhale, drop the knee to the outside. Pull the knee towards your body just a little bit. Come back up. We got two more here. Big breath in, exhale, drop to the outside, light distraction of the knee. We're gonna come back up, we got one more. Big breath in, exhale. Pull the knee towards the body just a little bit. Come back up. And everyone, you can go ahead and relax. If you want, by all means, go ahead and stay laying on the ground. 